Hello everyone, welcome to the mobile game development course. This is a course packed with a lot of information that you can use when you're making a game for an Android device, an iOS device, or any other mobile device that you want to target. Okay, so we're going to we're going to cover lots of topics, and these are the basic ones. We're going to talk about the user interface. So how do we care for the user interface to work correctly in different devices? We are aware that we have multiple devices with different aspect ratios. Some of them are widescreen, some of them are a bit more squarish, like the iPad. So how do we make it work for these devices? How do we make the screen to scale properly in these devices? We're also going to talk about anchoring and stretching. So this is kind of making uh, user interface elements like buttons and titles to be anchored to a certain position in the screen, to the top left, to the center right, to the bottom middle, things like this. Okay? And whenever we work with a widescreen device or a, a squarish device, uh, the elements are going to be in the proper positions. Whenever you're making games and you want them to be supported in multiple screens, you also have to talk about the screen limits. For instance, if you make a space game, you need to make sure that the ship never goes out of the screen area. We always want to see where your ship is. Okay, so you can, uh, well, the player knows where they are at all times and they're not going to lose control. We're also going to talk about absolute versus relative positions. This is especially necessary when you're dealing with touch input. Since we don't have lots of controls uh, using the keyboard or using the mouse, for example, we need to get creative and understand how to work with the position of the touches to apply certain effects. Multi-touch and gestures are also things that you have to consider when you want to activate things like power-ups. Since mobile devices uh, are scarce in resources, since they are not as fast as video games, uh, as consoles or as desktop devices, we need to think about optimization as well. So we're going to talk about a few insights that you have to care about in order for your game to work as smoothly as possible. And finally, we're going to learn how to generate Android and iOS builds and what is the step-by-step the -step that we have to study to publish this app in the Google Play. Okay, so this is how it's looking like in Unity. This screen is just to show the title, a button, uh, an element here in the top left, just a little, uh, little arrow. And once we press play, we're going to uh, some sort of game scene where we can control our ship like this. Okay, so it's something really simple because there's a lot of theory involved here. So we're going to talk a lot, we're going to understand lots of things and apply this knowledge in other projects. Okay. My name is Glauco Pires and I've been working with games since 2010 and throughout the years I've worked with several different technologies. Unity is the one that I use the most, okay? but I also worked with HTML5 games, I've worked with Unreal, I've even worked with Flash games in the past, so I have a lot of experience and I'm going to share that experience with you divided in topics just like we just saw. Okay? We're going to see things step by step in a slow and steady pace and you're going to have everything you need to succeed in making your mobile games. Okay? So, I hope you're excited to start this and I see you in the next video.